For centuries we feared the forces of darkness massing against us. We sought to hide and cower beneath a broken god. No more. Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny Basics video. If you've been following this series, then you'll know that so far we've been over the three classes in Destiny and how their respective subclasses change the way you play. Then we discussed the different types of leveling, XP and light, and how you can get to the highest level as quickly as possible. And then last week I ran you through all the vendors in the tower and discussed armor and weapon stats, so by now you should already have a pretty good grounding. But in today's video, I want to talk about Destiny's various currencies, and believe me, there are quite a few of them, and the best ways for you to farm them should you need them. So, let's begin. First up, if you've ever played other MMOs, you'll probably be familiar with the concept of multiple currencies. However, it's usually some sort of money, be that gold, gems, coins, you name it, and then some sort of endgame coin or medal or medallion that is exchanged for endgame items. Obviously, different games handle this differently, but the point is, the concept of multiple currencies isn't new. That being said, Destiny takes that to the extreme. At present, there are 8 different currencies that you need to know about. All of these are used in some way, shape or form to obtain items and gear throughout your journey, and it's time you know what they're all for. So first up, your 8 currencies are as follows. Glimmer, Vanguard Marks, Vanguard Commendations, Crucible Marks, Crucible Commendations, Strange Coins, Motes of Light, and Black Wax Idols. Technically you could say 9 if you counted exotic shards, but for the time being, I'm not going to include that. So, now you know what they are, what are they used for? First up, Glimmer. This is, first and foremost, Destiny's base currency. It's the equivalent to gold or coins or rupees, and you use it to buy various things. It caps out at 25,000 Glimmer, and is actually shared across all characters on your account. You can use it to buy weapons from the Gunsmith, Engrams from the Cryptarch, Ships and Sparrows from the Shipwright, Low Level Armor from the Vanguard Vendor, or even Custom Emblems and Shaders from Eva Levante. And while Glimmer may not be used to purchase the all-important Legendary gear, it is, however, used to fund your weapon and armor upgrades, so it's worth ensuring you always have Glimmer. After all, nobody wants to be broke, right? Next, you have Marks and Commendations. I'm going to group these up as they go hand in hand. If you saw my last video, you'll already know what these are for, but Vanguard and Crucible Marks are used to purchase legendary armor and weapons from the respective vendors. You require certain reputation levels in order to actually be able to make the purchase, but once you are the right level, these items will cost Marks. Commendations go alongside this as these are used in conjunction with Marks to purchase certain items. With armor, helmets and chests are purchased with a combination of Marks and a single commendation, whereas arms and legs will set you back marks alone. Weapons on the other hand will cost you both marks and commendations, so you're going to need them if you plan on building your arsenal. Then you have strange coins. Again, this was covered in last week's video, but these are used to purchase exotic items from Zur, the exotic vendor who comes to the tower every Friday and stays till Sunday morning, GMT. Exotic gear will set you back 13 strange coins, and weapons range from 17 to 23 strange coins depending on whether they are primary, secondary or heavy. Then you have motes of light. These can also be used at Zur to purchase exotic engrams, if you want to try your luck. That'll set you back 23 motes of light, or you can go over to the speaker in the west of the tower and purchase some of his fancy looking class items and emblems. And lastly, you have Black Wax Idols. These have always been in the game, but before the dart below, these were used purely to multiply your Glimmer income, which I'll cover shortly. But when the dart below came out, these became a currency. You can go to Eris, the new vendor for the dart below, and exchange them for some of her items. So. Now you know what all of these currencies are used for, the next question is, how do you acquire them? And if necessary, farm them. Let's start with Glimmer. You get Glimmer from killing Majors and Ultras. These are the guys with the yellow health bars and usually some sort of fancy name. You also get Glimmer from dismantling weapons and armor, completing missions and exchanging a few quest based items. But if you're in need of some serious cash, Allow me to show you by far the best way to farm Glimmer. Using this method, you'll hit the max in just over an hour. However, just before I begin that, I need to show you these. Ether Seeds, Black Wax Idols, Blue Polyphage, and Resupply Codes. These are consumable items that, when used, cause enemies to drop more Glimmer when you kill them, and these last for 10 minutes at a time. 
Ether Seeds are for Fallen, Black Wax Idols for Hive, Blue Polyphage for Vex, and Resupply Codes for Cabal. And it's the resupply codes we're going to need for this. If you have access to Mars, then you'll have access to the first mission, the Exclusion Zone. Select this mission and change the difficulty to level 18. Begin the mission, work your way to the beginning sequence where you open the doors, and it's this short 2 minute segment that is where you're going to farm Glimmer. See, at this point, after the first wave of enemies, a dropship will deploy another wave of Cabal, this time though, they have yellow health bars, and they are the ones that drop the Glimmer. Use a resupply code and kill all but one enemy from the second wave. I usually leave the shield guys alive as they are the easiest ones to not kill. The reason you leave one alive is because you want to avoid checkpointing. Once you've killed all but one, you want to die, so either have the Cabal kill you, or shoot yourself with a rocket. At this point you then respawn, and you can complete this section again. You then repeat the cycle until your 10 minutes is up on the resupply code, and you can then use another one. Do this for about an hour, and you'll have around 20,000 Glimmer, so if you need money, this is where you need to go. Then moving on, let's talk marks, Vanguard and Crucible marks. You can obtain Vanguard marks starting at level 18 by completing public events, strikes in the strike playlist, or daily heroic missions. And then you can obtain Crucible marks by participating in Crucible matches, a win will reward you with 3, and a loss will reward you with 2. For both Vanguard and Crucible marks, you can only earn 100 of each per week. Then commendations are earned when you level up the respective factions starting at level 3. You receive a package each time you rank up Vanguard or Crucible factions, and on opening the package you receive the respective commendation. Then moving on to Strange Coins, these are earned reliably through the weekly heroic strikes. Complete it on level 24 and you'll get 3 coins, level 28 and you'll get 6, level 30 and you'll get 9. These do not stack, so 9 is the most you can get per week from these on a single character, but you can complete these strikes on multiple characters. Alternatively, if you're lucky, you'll get these when you decode an engram at the crypto, but that is random. And then Motes of Light. These are quite possibly the longest or hardest things to come by, simply because they just take a little while to get. Once you hit level 20, while your physical XP base level won't exceed, you do still earn XP. Once you've earned about 40,000 XP, you'll be awarded a single Motes of Light. And this happens each time you gain more XP. If you hover over your base level, it'll show your progress to your next moat. As I said, this does take a while, so on top of this, you can also randomly obtain these from decoding engrams, like you can with Strange Coins. And then lastly, Black Wax Idols, and to be honest, this also applies to any of the currency multipliers I listed before. Idols, Seeds, Codes and Polyphages. These just come from killing the respective enemy types. Majors often drop these, so for Black Wax Idols, killing Knights or Major Acolytes is often a way to farm them, and similarly for all the others. During the Mars Glimmer farm I showed you, the enemies will often drop resupply codes for you, so this allows you to continue the cycle. And that, my friends, is it for this video. Hopefully by now you're a little clearer on all of Destiny's currency items and should you need to obtain any of them, you now know how to do so. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure you join the Arax Gaming Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Check back next Monday for another Destiny Basics episode and check back daily for more gaming videos. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.